Divided we fall, together we achieve. Hi neighbors, my name is Peter Boykin and I am running to be your next Lieutenant Governor. Please check out my website at peterboykin.com. Thank you for going right with Peter Boykin. Hi folks, my name is Peter Boykin and I am running to be your next Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. And with your support, I just might be. You can check out my website at peterboykin.com to find out more information about me and look up more speeches just like this one. Divided we fall, together we achieve. The GOP is in a mist of profound identity crisis, with two distinct factions vying for control under the same banner. Representative Jim Jordan, a prominent figure in the Trumpified wing of the party, finds himself at the heart of the struggle as he seeks the position of Speaker of the House. Ironically, after facing opposition from within his own ranks, Jordan rejects the idea of a coalition government with Democrats, revealing the deep-seated divisions within the party. The GOP's transformation into a de facto coalition is apparent, reflecting a party struggling to reconcile its divergent identities. This seismic shift in the GOP's landscape has been accelerated by the influence of former President Donald Trump. The party once known for its policy-centric approach has become a populist-leaning force, driven more by ideology than policy considerations. The battle for leadership in the House mirrors the broader struggle within the party, a clash between the Trumpified present and the pre-Trump past. Jim Jordan, representing the charismatic face of the Trumpified faction, is considered by many as the embodiment of the party's new direction. However, the House floor vote underscores the fractures within the GOP, as a significant number of Republicans resist the ascent of Jordan. While the House grapples with internal strife, the Senate remains a holdout, retaining elements of the pre-Trump Republican Party. Senators with their longer terms and secure seats showcase a different dynamic. Their presidential preferences, diverging from the Trump-centric stance, highlight a party still grappling with its identity. The GOP finds itself at a critical crossroads, torn between its Trumpified present and its pre-Trump past. The struggle for unity persists, and the prospect of a coalition, whether within the party or with Democrats, looms as a potential solution. The only certainty is that the GOP's evolution is far from complete, and the battle for its soul continues to shape the future of American politics. As I navigate the political landscape in my bid for the position of Lieutenant Governor in North Carolina, it's evident that our state, much like the nation, is grappling with internal dynamics within the Republican Party. I've heard firsthand from constituents, and I understand the need for a more moderate foundation within our party, a shift that has been catalyzed by the influence of leaders like Donald Trump. In conversation with voters and fellow politicians, it's clear that there's a growing recognition of the intricate and nuanced nature of the issues we face. The traditional black and white perspectives are evolving, and North Carolinians are calling for a more open-minded and pragmatic approach. My campaign echoes these sentiments. Acknowledging the emergence of unaffiliated voters who don't adhere to party talking points, I firmly believe that being a moderate is not a political liability. Rather, it's a strategic move in our current divisive climate. It's about embracing compromise and fostering engagement between Republicans and Democrats to drive progress. 
North Carolina, much like the rest of the country, is witnessing a surge in unaffiliated voters who seek a fresh and balanced perspective. As a candidate for Lieutenant Governor, I pledge to represent this diverse spectrum. I understand that the allegiance should not solely be to the Republican Party. It should be to the citizens of North Carolina. It's about recognizing that all votes matter and all people matter in our state. My vision for North Carolina goes beyond partisan lines. If elected, my allegiance is not to a party label, but to the citizens who entrust me with their voices. I am committed to being a lieutenant governor for all, regardless of political affiliation. This pledge is rooted in the belief that inexclusivity, compromise, and a genuine commitment to serving the people are the keys to making North Carolina truly great. In this campaign, I envision a North Carolina where every voice is heard, where collaboration takes precedence over division, and where the focus is on addressing the diverse needs of our state. This commitment to unity and a citizen-centric approach will be the driving force behind my tenure as Lieutenant Governor, ensuring that I serve as a representative for all North Carolinians. All votes matter. More than ever before in the election of 2024, all votes do matter. Please check out peterboykin.com for more information. Hi folks, my name is Peter Boykin and I am running for Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina. I am the true We the People's Grassroots America's First Constitutionalist for North Carolina. Overall, North Carolina and America need economic stimulation, protection on our border, quality education, medical freedom, secure elections, jobs and job security, and affordable health care options for everyone. The right of the individual to achieve the best that is with him, as long as he respects the rights of others is the source of our nation's strength. We should put America first, and that means putting Americans first. We are supposed to be a first world nation, so let's start taking care of all of our citizens. Health care, food, education, civil rights, state and national security, jobs and more should never be a right or left issue. North Carolina, united for a greater America. Please visit PeterBoygan.com for more information. And remember, all votes matter.